ever for your life out. And ready. <coughs> <coughs> Keep it simple, stupid. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided a friend said I should do the 16 things I learned in 2016. I don't know if it's a tag, but it's a video going around on YouTube. So I really wanted to do it because I felt like 2016 was a big year for me. A lot happened, I learned a lot. So I thought this would be the perfect time to do this. So make sure you subscribe down below and let's get into the list. Number one, uh, what I learned in 2016 is negative thinking affects everything. My negative thinking or your negative thinking affects your relationships with people, your significant other, your friends, your coworkers. It affects the way you feel about yourself and it affects how you react to things. So try to keep it positive. The second thing I learned in 2016 was say yes. Say yes to every opportunity. Say yes to crazy things, to outrageous things, things you never thought you would do. Say yes because that's how you're going to have a fulfilling life is just say yes to everything and everyone and when opportunity comes knocking, say yes. The third thing I learned in 2016 was say no. I know I just told you to say yes to everything, but those are yes to opportunities. Yes to not being scared to do something. But this is saying no and having boundaries for yourself. Um, you don't have to help everyone. <laughs> you really don't. I had a problem with that. I had a problem with people pleasing. And every time someone came and was like, I need your help. I need you to do this. I need you to stay up till five o'clock in the morning and tie bows on things. And I would be there and I'd get frustrated because I was there till 4 o'clock in the morning tying bows on things. So you have to know boundaries. When I say say no, you just have to know boundaries. Um, you can say yes to things like that, but you have to remember you can't help everyone. So say no to some things and remember that you can't be there for everything and you can't be there for everyone all the time. You have to be there for yourself too. The fourth thing that I learned in 2016 was perspective and to always have perspective in all things. Always keep the big picture in mind. This is hard, especially for me because I'm a detail oriented person and a sometimes a very task oriented person. So details stress me out because I'm thinking about every single detail until we get to the big picture. So a big thing that I learned this year is keep perspective. Whenever I'm stressed, keep the big picture in mind and remember where I'm trying to get. Don't always stress the small stuff and don't always stress the details. The fifth thing that I learned in 2016 was don't be afraid to be weird. As crazy as it sounds, I think it sounds crazy to me, but I like to hide my crazies a lot. <laughs> but I, I'm a naturally crazy person. Everyone's crazy. Got a little crazy in them. But I think there's so many people trying to be something else these days that we now more than ever can't be afraid of being weird. Just let your weird shine. There's a limit. Like, don't be a weirdo at work. Like, if it's going to get you fired, don't be crazy if it makes people uncomfortable. Just basically what I'm saying, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't try to fit a cookie cutter image of somebody else. Because I used to do that. I would change my identity for anyone and everyone, and I wasn't me anymore. So don't be afraid to be weird, and don't be afraid to be yourself. The sixth thing that I learned in 2016 was drop the zeros. Drop your zero friends, drop your zero attitude, drop your zero relationships, and drop your zero jobs. I'm not saying go out and like quit your job or drop every friend that you hate. Um, but what I'm saying is drop your bad attitude about things. Drop your, if you're in a really bad friendship or a really bad relationship, you don't need to be in that relationship. Drop it and make 2017 a better year for it. If you are miserable, absolutely miserable, and your job is killing you, drop it. 
You don't need it. Life is too short to have bad attitudes, bad habits, a horrible job, and be in a horrible relationship. <laughs> Figure out what you love and what you hate about your life and and drop the things that you hate and leave only room for the things that you love in your life and it'll overall make you a happier person. The seventh thing that I learned in 2016 was ask for help. There are people out there who want to help you and who are equipped to help you. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. You're not wrong or bad or not good enough if you ask for help. It's okay. Ask for help. People want to help you and people are equipped to help you. That was hard for me, but I got counseling earlier this year that I really didn't even know that I needed. But I'm so glad that I asked for help because now I'm healthier, I'm happier, I think more positively. So make sure you're asking for help. If you're struggling mentally, physically, spiritually, anything like that, ask for help. Don't be ashamed. Don't be prideful. Reach out to people and people want to help you. The eighth thing that I learned in 2016 is be honest with what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, if you want to lose weight or you have a goal that you're trying to get to, you want to go vegan, you want to you know, become a bodybuilder, whatever you want to do, be honest with what works for you and what keeps you happy and motivated. Um, you're not going to be happy and motivated if you're starving yourself. You're not, it's, it's just not going to work. Be honest with what works for your life and your schedule and what you, your goal is and how you react to things and be honest with what doesn't work and don't feel like you have to do things that other people are doing. Just do you, do what you have to do to make life easier for yourself. The ninth thing that I learned in 2016 is keep it simple, stupid. Uh, when I was in my counseling sessions, my counselor would always say, keep it simple, stupid. And I'd be like, don't call me stupid. After I was done crying, I would understand what he was saying. Um, we make a lot of work in our head about things and we, we build things up in our minds about how much stuff we have to do and oh, where's Jimmy gonna go to college? Oh, like we just build things up in our head so much and it's like, just keep it simple. Stop building things up to be these high mountains when they're just molehills. You know what I mean? Like, keep it simple. You can keep out the stupid part, but keep it simple. The tenth thing that I learned in 2016 is make mistakes, but pursue excellence. Uh, this means just when you're doing anything in your life, try to be the best at it you can, or try to even be better. If you're a wife, if you're a teacher, if you're a counselor, if you're a trainer, if Anything you do in your life, if you're a sister, I mean everyone's a sister, if you're a mother, always pursue excellence in that. Try to be the best mom, the best sister, the best coworker ever, and always try to get better. But it's okay to make mistakes. As long as you are trying your best to pursue excellence, to do the best you can in everything that makes you you, it's okay to make mistakes. The 11th thing that I learned in 2016 is stop over analyzing. You know what I mean? When we get home and we're laying awake just thinking of and replaying conversations over and over and over and over in our mind or rethinking situations over and over and over and over and over again in our mind, like a broken record, thinking what could I have done differently? What did, what did she really mean when she said that? What did he really mean when she said that? Is my boss angry at me? Does so-and-so hate me? Just stop. The 12th thing that I learned in 2016 is stop dwelling on things you can't change. When we dwell on things we can't change, it gives those things power over us now and in our future, and our future decisions and our present decisions because we're we're thinking about what we did wrong and we're not good enough and because we 
didn't hit a home run when we were eight years old. We don't need to think about the things of the past. The past is the past. We can't change it. So we need to stop giving the past power over our present decisions and our future decisions. The 13th thing that I learned in 2016 is to stop caring so much what people think of me. I actually learned this very recently, about a month ago, a friend told me that I should actually have a list of three people and those three people are the only three people I care what they think of me and I care what their opinion of me is and if you're not one of these three people, I'm sorry, I just don't care what your opinion is of me. And that gives you a lot of freedom to stop caring what the stranger on the street, on the side of the road thinks of you. They're not even thinking of you most likely. So um, if you are like me and you've struggled with what you think people think of you or what people actually think of you and you want everyone to like you, Make a list right now of three people that matter to you. So your sister, your significant other, a mentor. Um, I probably would suggest not putting your parents on the list, but if you're close to your parents, put them on the list. Um, and always remember those three people. And if anyone comes at you and says, well, I don't like your hair and I don't like the way you act and I don't like this, you say, I'm sorry, you're not one of the three people that I care your opinion of me. And that'll give you a lot of freedom in, in that mindset. The 14th thing that I learned in 2016 is be accountable to people, not for people. And what that basically means is if you're in a relationship and you have a friend, you're accountable to each other. You keep each other accountable or you say, hey, I struggle with something in my life. Can you help me overcome this struggle? And they help you get through it and you're accountable to each other. And if, if you have a fight, then you come to each other and you say, hey, I'm taking part of my responsibility for that fight and I'm so sorry. You're adults. You're being accountable to each other as human beings because you're adults. Um, but being accountable for someone is like mothering them. Um, I, so if I am friends with Sally and Sally does something wrong and someone else comes to me and says, why is she acting like that? I'm taking the responsibility for that because that's what a mother would do. They take responsibility for your bad and your good actions. So I think I learned that a lot earlier in this year and I had to get drop some zero friends and because we had an unhealthy relationship we weren't being accountable to each other. We were being accountable for each other um, and one of us was being accountable for someone else and they were mothering them. I'm not going to say who it was in the relationship but be accountable to people just because you're human beings, just because you're adults, but just because you are friends. Um, help each other out, but don't mother. Mother's mother, you don't have to mother your friend. The 15th thing that I learned in 2016 is to be happy in relationships with other people, whether it be your significant other or friends or family. You have to work on yourself first. Um, Earlier in the year, I was a very unhappy person because I was doing so much for everybody else. Um, I was worried about them, making sure they were okay, that I wasn't okay. It got to the point where everyone was great around me, but I wasn't okay. So to have healthy relationships with other people and to be the best you can be for other people, you have to take care of yourself. And you have to be happy with who you are because you're the person you spend the most time with. You're, this is forever with yourself. Um, everybody else you can drop off, but you have to be okay with yourself. And you have to be happy with yourself to be able to be happy in relationships with other people and to have healthy relationships with other people. So make sure you are doing everything you can to make sure that you're healthy physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and make sure you're okay before you go and help other people because if you're not 100% or you don't even have to be 100% but if you're not 
on a rock and stable and you try to go help other people, you're going to fall off the rock and you're going to be in a bad position and in, and not a, a good position mentally, if that makes sense. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and be happy with yourself before you try to have healthy relationships with other people. The last and Final thing, the 16th thing that I learned in 2016 is do more learning and do less binging. I am the worst at this and I will be the first person to stand up and say that I do this way too much is I binge. This world that we live in right now is so crazy that I think us as millennials, uh, people who have grown up with technology our whole lives and love technology and only see all the good in technology, we tend to go to our iPads, our phones, our video games, Netflix, YouTube. We go to these platforms to numb our mind, to not think about all the things that are going wrong and maybe even all the things that are going right. We numb because we just can't handle the craziness of this world that we live in right now, especially 2016, has been the craziest year. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it has been the craziest year I have ever had on planet Earth, and I am only 26 years old. So I don't know if it's gonna get worse or better at this point, but I'm numb because I can't handle it. We can't handle it. It's too much to take this all in. Life's not as simple as it used to be. And so I have, I have decided to do more learning, to read more, to fill my mind with better input and to fill my mind with positive things to think about instead of numbing it. I need to start learning. I need to get smart about decisions. I need to learn what needs to be done to either make the world better, what I can do to make the world better, what I can do just to be a better human being. So learn more and binge less, and I think that the world would be a lot better place. That is the 16 things that I learned in 2016. What a crazy, crazy year it's been. I'm excited for the new year. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. Make sure you subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!